Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in with us here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. My name is Michaela Geis. What I have behind me is a brand new 2024 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. So I'm going to walk you through this one this morning. It is still available, so keep that in mind as we run through it. Before we get to the trailer itself, we're going to go ahead and pull up this floor plan of this trailer and run through it together. So what you're going to see on that floor plan is our standard dimensions of 610 wide, 71 tall. Our front tack on this guy is going to be about four foot five inches, leaving you a stall space of 14 feet four inches. So overall on your floor on this guy, we're looking at 18 feet nine inches, which is going to be kind of a little bit longer than your standard floor length on a regular three horse bumper pole due to the fact that we do make our front tacks a little bit bigger and then we do make our stall area a little bit bigger just to kind of eliminate that telescoping divider. So we'll check that out when we get to the back. But just keep in mind, this is going to be a little bit longer than a typical three horse bumper pole, but you're going to see kind of what you get out of that deal. So we'll start right here at that four foot five inch front tack. You're going to get a lot going on in here. We do still have enough space to do our 42 inch door opening. So we do get a lot of feedback from customers that come walk the lot and they compare different tack rooms. We get a lot of great feedback on this tack room door size. So they love that 42 inch, just giving you a lot of accessibility to this tack room. Even with, you, can guys, you guys can see this is swung out. You're still gonna get tons of room to step up inside of this trailer if you need to get in there while your saddles are swung out right here. So. That big 42 inch door opening kind of gives us that. On your door, you're still gonna get your sliding bus window. You don't have your saddle pads on your door on this trailer. We've optioned them on your swing out saddle rack on this one, but I still like having that ventilation. It's good to have some sort of ventilation in your front tack. Just kind of helps with, if you get some condensation in there, kind of helps keep things a little bit drier, kind of draws the smell out of there. Again, just getting some air movement. On your front tack door, you're also gonna get that Cimarron brush tray. I do love these brush trays. They are very large, very deep. They're going to have a couple different compartments in there as well. So if you're kind of more of an organizational person like I am, it's just nice to have that separation. It works really well for your like your spray bottles, your main and tail detangler. I have all my brushes in there too. So I eliminated my brush box. I have it all right there on my door as well as rubber bands, main and tail bands, anything that you're going to need right here off your tie rings super nice to have like you guys can see right here your entire tack room is swung out of the tack room so you don't even really need to climb inside until you get to the bridle um, your swing out saddle racks and your saddle pad racks are on a gas shock it's really nice they do kind of help get swung out here on their own and then when you go to push them back in it takes a minute but once you kind of get it right to this threshold right here it's going to help pull it back in there so once you get saddles loaded on this thing it's going to be really nice that it helps it kind of come out for you these are my favorite saddle racks i've seen on a trailer the carpeting is really nice as far as getting your saddles to stick to them but probably my favorite piece is going to be this wither block right here it's going to act like a wither on your horse so once you throw your saddle on there it's going to stick right up into that gullet whether it's an english or a western saddle it's going to give it that stability right there so that combined with your carpet once you throw your saddle up on there you're going to kind of feel it stick and feel it stay in there it's a really nice peace of mind and just comfort knowing when you stick your saddle on there and then you slide it back in and get going down the road it's not gonna want to fall off of there it's going to stay on there and especially with how much we spend on our tack we want to keep it nice we want to keep it in good condition for our horses as well so nothing gets bent or broken and ends up hurting our horses it's just nice to know that Cimarron has really kind of experimented and thought this through and came up with a really cool design on this. And then, like I mentioned, you really don't have to climb in your tack room a whole bunch, but when you do, we do have this option with a fold down step. So being your standard width of 610, you're gonna get a full length running board, but right here we go ahead and taper that off and we add a fold down step. So if you're looking at building a trailer, guys, keep in mind, this is not standard. This is gonna be an upgrade. This is an additional fee on your build sheet. To us, we build all of our inventory with it. So that's why you're gonna see everything here with it. It is standard on our lot, but just so you know, it is an upgrade, but it's well worth it to be able to step kind of onto here versus way up here. It'll, it kind of decreases it by probably about six inches. So really nice if you are having to climb up in here. 
So you guys can see you still get a lot of floor space in here. Having this, that four foot five inch, really gives you a lot of space to work with. Even with your spare tire mounted inside of here and then your breakaway battery over here, there's still lots of room to work with. Up above my head on this wall right here, we do have a clothes bar as well. So if you're gonna hang some stuff up, you still have the clothes bar in here. You're losing that shelf option that we're gonna see on our gooseneck models, but you're still gonna get the clothes bar. So if you are using this as a dressing room or changing area between events or classes, you can have that storage space up there. On your partition wall, we've done a few rows of bridle hooks here. Behind our bridle hooks, we're doing that carpeting again. This is really, really nice feature as far as protecting your equipment, but also protecting your trailer and then keeping it a lot quieter for your horse that's on the other side of this wall. So when you do hang up your bridles, it's gonna have those metal pieces on there and your bits and your buckles and your conchos. Your Chicago screws, once they get Banging on this wall, it's gonna be really quiet with this carpet. It's not gonna leave those black streaks that we see in some horse trailers that don't have this carpet. And then it just protects your equipment as well. So really nice to have that carpet behind your bridle hooks. Lots of bridle hooks here. We do have kind of over there in our corner there, we still have added that 25 gallon water tank. A really nice plastic water tank. It's up on that stand so you guys can see there. Inside of that stand is gonna be the hose that you can use for it. It's packaged up inside of there, but you can take that hose out. You're gonna use it, put it on that spigot that you see right there at the bottom. It is plenty long enough to run it outside of your trailer. You can use it outside there to fill buckets, wash off boots, wash off horse equipment, your tack. You may probably even wash off your horses as well. Wash off your dogs. Anything that gets dirty needs some cleaning before you head home. It does have really good water pressure. Guys, I have one inside of my trailer. I was very impressed with the water pressure that it puts out with it just being gravity fed, it is really nice. As we leave this front tack, guys, you're gonna see one big OptiBright LED light up there. Those things put off a lot of light, so it's gonna light up your entire tack room inside of here. Gives you guys lots of visibility if you are using this, maybe early in the morning or late at night. It's not really late at night, guys, anymore when the sun goes down at like five o'clock, but if you are riding after work or something, you're going to have that really big OptiBright LED light in there for your visibility, as well as you're going to have your 16 inch awning LED light out here up above those tie rings. So visibility throughout your trailer here. So coming to your hip side here, you guys will notice we have optioned this one with our drop down windows. I really like the drop down windows on these ones for ventilation if you're going to be traveling through a warmer climate. So not really here in Colorado right now, it's a little bit chillier. We don't quite need that much ventilation here, but if you are interested in this trailer, maybe you're in a Southern state down in Texas or down in the Southeast where it gets a little bit warmer. We have a lot of customers that, from out of state that are interested in this setup for that reason. They just need that airflow over in those warmer climates. If you don't need that, you still are gonna get a sliding bus window. So on each of your drop down windows, you still have that option to get just a little bit of ventilation in there if you don't quite need that full on airflow there. Underneath this trailer, this is that white sheeted trailer. We went ahead and did those black spoke aluminum rims. I've been really liking those as far as just giving it a little bit of contrast, a little bit of pop there with that black spoke. It looks really sharp, especially with the white, but I've also really liked it on charcoal trailers as well. Taking a closer look at your tire, you're gonna see that green valve stem cover there. What that is indicating is that these tires are gonna be filled with nitrogen versus typical air. So you will see, even as chilly as it was last night and this morning, they have maintained pressure. So they haven't decreased air pressure, which was really nice guys, especially if you're just gonna hook it up on these cold mornings and jump out on the highway. Once they get to heating up, you just your typical air filled tires are gonna to start to increase that air pressure. They're gonna inflate back up. Um, just keep maintaining that PSI is gonna reduce your risk of a blowout. So it's nice to know that these are just gonna stay steady for you and stay filled and not fluctuate nearly as much. All of our hinges on these drop down windows and tack room doors and rear doors and escape doors all have grease certs on them. It's really nice on these same rounds that they go ahead and do that on every single hinge on this trailer so that it's easier for you guys to maintain, keep it lasting a lot longer, maintain it yourselves, just keep everything functioning as it should. So we'll step around to our load side back here.
you guys will notice that our rear doors I have opened right now, one of them is gonna have a window and one of them isn't. You might also notice that this one is gonna be a little bit larger right here. So we do option our standard width trailers with 60, 40 doors. So your right hand side or your loading door is gonna be that 60%. If you are loading by yourself, it's really nice to only have to operate the one door and just worry about one door getting your horses in and out. If they do need it opened up all the way, just for that open air, open space feeling gives them some more comfort getting in and out of these, just more security for your horses. You do have the option to go ahead and open them both up, but you do have your 160% door if you choose to do that. And what's really nice about these 40% doors is in the future, if you ever choose to add a collapsible rear tack, you're not gonna have a window on that door so that it doesn't bring in any moisture, any air into that tack space. So you can use that as just a folding tack room, extra tack space back here, or even just extra storage space. If you wanna use it without that saddle post, it's great for kind of more like a broom closet type use. And then back here, you're gonna have your butt strap just kind of a safety feature for your horse in this third stall here. If they're one that is like mine and anticipates that as soon as the door opens, he needs to start backing up and get out of here. It's great to have that on there. Safety feature so you can get in there and get him untied and then come back here and undo the butt strap so he can leave without getting himself in a wreck. Inside of this trailer, we have optioned it with padded dividers. That's another really great upgrade to these trailers especially with your aluminum dividers. If your horse gets to leaning on those, gets to rubbing on those, that aluminum is gonna leave black streaks on your horse, but also it's just really nice if you are kind of driving on a major highway, you get stuck in some traffic, they're gonna be bouncing back and forth between these dividers. Nice to give them just a little bit of cushion. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, how I made, how we make these Cimarron's just a little bit longer back here to eliminate that telescoping divider. This is what you're seeing right here. So this divider is a full solid divider. There's not an additional moving piece to go wrong here. Your stall space back here is a couple of inches longer to make up for that. So you can go ahead and open this divider all the way, even if this door was closed. So it's not gonna interfere with that. And it's not gonna end up hitting your door right here and then leaving you any sharp edges to kind of maneuver around. Let's you open it up all the way flush up against that wall it doesn't have holdback clips on it right now. That is something our shop can add if you are looking to travel, looking to have the ability to travel down the road with these dividers clipped open. That is something that our shop can do. Your front divider up here is gonna be a full stud wall divider. We tend to do that on all of our inventory trailers, especially when your front stall has that escape door on it. Gives you guys the ability to use your front stall as storage instead of for a horse space, if you just needed to haul the two, it's great to be able to haul some extra hay with you, some grain, some shavings, whatever you need up there, you have the ability to do so with your stud wall right here. We'll see our escape door up on our head side too, but I do have it opened right now. So up there, you're gonna have your chest bar. If you do have a horse inside of that stall, that way when you open your escape door, they can't leave. Kind of same as your butt strap, just an additional safety feature. Inside of this stall space, you're gonna have two of those OptiBright LED lights. Again, providing plenty of visibility inside of this stall space with those two lights. Over each stall, you're gonna have a two-way roof vent. So you can go ahead and push them open forwards and be pulling that air in, and then push them open backwards and be drawing that air out. If you just needed a little bit of airflow, that's great to use it for that. Your standard insulated roof on these Cimarron's is a half inch thick of this honeycomb fiberglass type material. It's very, very, very durable, you guys. You get some hail up on top, it's not gonna dent all the way up, so almost a baseball size hail. So you guys can actually climb up there and jump up and down, not have to worry about it being compromised. And it also does a great, has a great effect on the interior of your trailer for your animals as well. In the summer, it's gonna keep it a little bit cooler. In the winter, it's gonna keep it a little bit warmer. So it just helps regulate that temperature as well as add some durability to the roof of your trailer. Now we'll take a look in this last stall here. I just want to point out that each stall does have three D-rings for a corner feeder. So we don't have mangers on this trailer, but we do have the option to clip in a corner feeder. Those are all standard, so go ahead and pick one up at any ranch supply store and clip it in there. And you do have a feeder on the go. 
but each stall is also optioned with two tie rings. If you're not a corner feeder person, you can use one of those tie rings for your horse and one of your tie rings for a hay net or a hay bag. So lots of options in these Cimarron's just giving you however you need to use it. We want to make it work for our customers. This one doesn't have a rear ramp, but that is something that we can add back there as well. So we'll step around to our head side and check out our windows over here and that escape door. So with our head windows, these ones do drop down as well, but being on the head side, they're going to have those jail bars there. They are meant to travel with your, jail, with your jail bars up like that on window number three there. So you can travel with them that way, but if you do need to stop and check on your horses, if you want to fill that corner feeder, if you're on a longer haul, you want to offer them some water, you can drop down those jail bars and be able to access your horses. They are very, very easy to use. So you're just gonna kind of find that groove right there and then drop them back in there. These windows do kind of set down into a, I don't know, never know what to call that thing, but it's like a little grommet down there that you're gonna suck that window into. That way when you travel with your windows down, it's not gonna catch any air and pop back up on you. If you don't need that much airflow, you also have a sliding bus window on your windows there. Just give you guys a little bit of ventilation versus too much. These windows are meant to slam. They are, all, they are slam latches. When you do slam them, just make sure you're pushing right here on your latch. It's gonna help it latch and not bounce back open. Up above our tie rings here, we have three tie rings on this side as well. And you're gonna have another one of those 16 inch Optibrite LED lights. And then right here is our escape door. I did go ahead and shut that stud wall there so you guys can take a peek at how much space you're actually gonna get with that if you are using it for storage. I use mine for storage, my front stall like that. It works so well. It gives you guys tons of space in there. I have extra muck buckets in there, extra water buckets. I've actually got a bunch of Rubbermaid tubs too that can stack in there really well. Nothing's gonna slide underneath and get in your horse's way. What's really nice on these escape doors is that we do this recessed paddle latch here. So you can actually shut your door and it is gonna stay shut now that it has latched and you can lock it as well. So you can fully lock up this entire trailer. But because there is gonna be a horse potentially on the other side of this door that could mess with that paddle latch on the inside and open it, we actually have a butterfly latch as well. Again, safety. These trailers are big on safety features. So now if your horse opens this, they're not gonna open the door. And then our holdbacks here, I always like to point these out. These are really neat holdbacks on these trailers. They're on a swivel. So there's a ball in there. You can swivel to wherever you need to. Gives you guys a little bit of give if the wind grabs your doors, but when you're done with them, you can actually turn them and tuck them away. Again, safety. If any horse were to run by, they're not gonna have a hold back sticking out and be able to poke their side. So up front, we just have a standard manual crank jack on this guy. We can actually upgrade our bumper pull hitches to an electric jack as well. You are gonna have a two and five sixteenths ball on these ones with your safety chains. There is no battery on this trailer because it doesn't have that electric jack. So I have it plugged into a battery pack to show you guys the lights. Keep in mind, without a battery, you're gonna have to plug it into your truck to be able to use your lights, or you can add a battery. If you're looking at adding that electric jack, you could also add a battery without an electric jack if you're looking to run those lights without being plugged in. So that's kind of what we got for this trailer here. Um, before we go, I just want to remind you guys, these Cimarron's are 100% aluminum construction. Being a brand new Cimarron, you're going to get an eight year structure warranty on this one, as well as three year hitch to bumper on everything else. You're going to have some really great, some of the best warranties on the market with these Cimarron's. You're also going to have some of the best construction on the market. These are a really high quality build. You're going to have really strong, um, vertical supports on this one there are really thick tubing on these ones and then your floor supports are actually v truss cross members and they're gonna be installed every four inches so i like to tell people um, i don't know if you've ever measured your horse's hoof but i have i've measured them for boots my horse's hoof are about five to five and a half inches long 
really great, really comforting peace of mind knowing wherever my horse steps inside this trailer, his five inch hoof is gonna be across the floor support. So in case you don't know anything about Simruns, go ahead and check out their website. There's lots of great information on them. Give me a call, I'd love to tell you guys about them too. All my contact info is gonna show up on your screen, but if you're interested in this particular trailer, we do have a stock tag on this one as well. If you're walking a lot, you can scan that QR code. If you're watching online, guys, right now, scroll to the bottom of our website, right hand corner, you're gonna type in 5N231388. It's gonna pull up your 2024 Simran North Star three horse bumper pull in the white with the drop down windows on the hip side. This one is still available. If you wanna know more about it, if you guys wanna see that floor plan we looked at earlier, I can send that to you, you can zoom in on it, check it out. My contact info is going to be on your screen, as I mentioned, my cell phone, 303-918-6367. Call or text, whatever you guys prefer. And then my email, Michaela Period guys at transwest.com. I'd love to help you out. I'd love to tell you more about this trailer and the build quality of these Simmerons. So give me a shout. Enjoy the rest of your Friday and have a great weekend, you guys.